The lionfish is an invasive species from the South Pacific that has been destroying native fish populations in the Caribbean for over 30 years. But this fish has one major weakness. It's delicious. Join me on the island of Grenada as we discover how trained divers catch, clean and prepare their lionfish to eat. And we'll do our part to improve the local ecosystem with some spectacular recipes. We'll check it out today on the taste of history. Wow, spectacular. I'm a Grenadian. My island is beautiful. It's a volcanic and coral island, so it's a compact destination. You can experience waterfalls now, and 15 minutes later, you can be at a white sand beach. Some wonderful lakes that are actually the top of extinct volcanoes that made our rolling hills and mountains of Grandi Tang, which is also the home to the Mona monkey, which is indigenous to Grenada. It's just a beautiful place. Grenada is a beautiful island. Beautiful people, lots of history, lots of culture. But presently we are threatened by some creature in the ocean that will destroy this harmonious island. The lionfish preys on small reef fish. So those fish that are important for maintaining reef habitat, for keeping algae off the reef. These are the fish that the lionfish eat. I would go as far as saying it's, it's a crisis. We're seeing the invasion in our marine protected areas, which are areas that we set aside for the protection of species. And in our case, we have quite a bit of lionfish in some of our protected areas. It's really important for us to eradicate the lionfish and for us, the human beings, to introduce it into our diet so we can be their predator because there's no natural predator for the lionfish in this part of the world. I'm here at Sandals Grenada in this beautiful beach, learning all about lionfish and how to cook it. Chef. Chef Imi, what a pleasure. Welcome to Sandals Grenada. You know what? I heard so much about this lionfish. What's the first recipe we're making? Well, we're keeping it very Grenadian. We're going to do a pan-seared lionfish cooked in a spicy okra. And you'd enjoy the taste. It's so delicate and tasty. Wow. Look at the spikes on that guy. So you're going to cut all these fins off because they're venomous. So once these are cut, they are safe as every other fish. Mm. In the bottom, you'll see this one little one here mm -hmm. in the corner. Well, Chef, now it's like any other fish that we've ever cleaned. Any other yeah, fish, yeah. it's the same thing, because the venomous part is out. When you fillet, do you take the skin off or you leave the skin on? Well, I leave the skin on because it's texturally, it's, it's very soft when you pan fry. Uh -huh. So it's not a chewy skin. Gotcha. Remove some of that scales. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never obviously seen it. This is uh, um, my first ever encounter with a lionfish. Interesting. So, exactly how you do a normal fish. So, you're going to take it off that bone. Yep. And then you just follow the line with that little bone in the center. And you can see it's a beautiful piece of fish. It is. Look at that. And if you put your hand down, then feel there's no bones. Gorgeous. So we're just going to clean this up a bit. Mm -hmm. We can use the heads and the Extract. stuff for stock. Lovely fish soup you can make with them. Because as the venom is out, everything is safe. So we're good to go. Yep. We're going to now marinate the fish. I like it lightly marinated, yep. so I don't want to change the fish. Because otherwise the, the meat the, flavor. The, the protein will cook by itself. Yes. So we got some spices. So I'm just going to do salt, pepper, some curry powder, and I'll put some cumin. So, you know about the locally grown lion. Yep. 
got a different flavor to the lime. It's part of the lime family, but it's completely yeah. different. We used it out in, in Central American cooking as well, you know. That's a beautiful thing. So, have this on the other side, so a bit of salt. Yeah. And I'm going to dust it in flour so it doesn't stick to the pan. Got you. A slight drench. Yes. Okay, so we're going to leave this to rest and then we can start cooking the okra and then we pick everything up together. So chef, I got some onions, seasoning peppers, garlic, garlic. Tomato, tomato and your favorite, okra. So we're going to take off the end mm -hmm. and then we're going to slice it. So I'm just going to cut it all. Gotcha. Because you don't want to overcook it. You want to have some texture in it. So, so basically you will cook this, uh, what's called al dente, pretty much, right? When yes. The comes, okay. okay, so we got our veggies and we go down to our pans. We're going to get some oil in there. Now, as I said, we've got to get the okra first, just to sear it off. Yep. Just to have a nice coat. So we leave that to form a crust underneath, and then we're going to sear the, the fish. It's nice and hot, skin side down. Beautiful. He's hot. <laughs> yeah, definitely hot. Let me test one of the okra there, Yeah. Oh. It's lovely. Mm. Oh. So and there's nothing added to it here. It's so fresh, you know? Yep. I'm going to get the spices for the okra. Some jeera. Cumin powder. Curry powder. Some lovely mustard seeds. And they call this the saffron locally, but it's turmeric. It's just for color. And some for heat. Pepper flake. So we need some tomato paste just to thicken up. Okay. Look at the color. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to add the onions, yep. tomatoes, a light mix. You drop the spices, nutmeg. That's what you guys are known for down here. Well, it's apparently as more expensive than gold at one stage it, in time. It certainly was. So we're going to have a bit of water just to yeah. bind everything up. Chef has a natural sink to clean this roasted breadfruit. Look at that. We're on the beach, why not? Huh. Got my breadfruit all cleaned, washed out. Now, you know, I've cooked a lot of breadfruit in my days. I've never seen anybody washing in the ocean. <laughs> so you're not, a, not a first. <laughs> You, you can never stop me when I see bread for a little butter because look at this. Oh. <laughs> the shadow bene is not just like cilantro. It is a combination of cilantro and something I haven't figured out yet. But it's a very unique herb down here, I will tell you that. Yes. Beautiful. You're going to put some of your green herbs on top of the okra. So keep it simple. Perfect. Fillet on top. breadfruit. You want to add some butter? Local lime. So, Chef, do you want to have a taste? Absolutely. Now, this fish started off as an ugly looking creature. Look at now. <laughs> it's beautiful. We get a little taste here. It's my first taste ever of lionfish. All the way from Grenada. Mmm. Give it up. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, a lot of flavor from a little breadfruit here. The smokiness on the breadfruit from the fire should just mm, be a different flavor. Of course. Unique flavor to it. It's really nothing that I could compare it to. It's very delicate. And meaty. Yeah, great flavor. And what's unique about this dish, it's the simplicity. There's only one word. Spectacular. And everybody should eat lionfish because you know why? It's great for the local ecosystem. Yes, it is.
in 2011, we had the first confirmed sighting of a lionfish here in Grenada. They're producing about 30,000 eggs every four days, so the population is growing drastically. They're not native to this range, so they don't have any natural predators. They don't have a lot of the parasites and the diseases that affect our native fish species. So they can essentially grow, the population can grow unchecked. A lionfish can consume up to 30 times its normal stomach size. They feed on those ecologically important species which play an important role in our coral reefs. We go to all our marine protected areas and try to remove as much lionfish as possible. So Walter, it's nice having you here. Pleasure. Right? Welcome to um, Windmill Shallow, Grenada. So we're gonna hunt some landfish. Is that a kind of unique harpoon? So what you will do, take your thumb, put it between here, like this, mm -hmm. all right? And then you grab a hold of the spear. Then you take your left hand, you pull it back, and you grab hold with your right hand. And then you just... Now let me question, if the lionfish sees you coming, he's not gonna wait for you, is he? No, I, I move so quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> I move so quick you can't see. <laughs> Hopefully you're coming back. With a bag full. How many are you going to bring? At least as much as the bag full. I can give you <laughs> That's a good so answer. I'm going to fill the bag. Yeah? Hear that. Thank you. No problem, man. for my fish to come up, come it out and send them right back. Look at that, oh yeah, fantastic. You promised, you delivered. Exactly. Nice catch there, big. I didn't realize they come this big. Yeah. Oh, look at him. I got a hold of it? Sure. I like him better than my frying pan though. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is if they, they overtake everything, then they'll eat all the little ones, right? Exactly. You've done your thing today to help us exactly. get some balance in there. Yep. Welcome, Cheslab. Welcome to Grenada. I'm really excited to show you what we could do with some of our, our lionfish. I can't wait because this is a very, very tasty fish. I already tasted it earlier. So I'm really interested to see what you're making. And you know what? Behind me, I got a little guy. Yeah. With my pet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make a nice tropical ceviche. Is it uh, spicy or just like a bit mean? How do you like it? Spicy. You're in the spice island. Now. <laughs> we got to kick it up. <laughs> All right, go ahead. The flavor of the fish, as I experienced yeah. earlier, is very difficult to uh, describe. It's such a combination of uh, a Dover sole and a sea bass, if there's such a thing. It's such a beautiful fish too, but people are not excited about it when they hear about the venom, but we just got to convince them that it's very nice to eat. To eat them, to beat them. That's what we got to do. Yep. And we're just going to take the skin off of it a little bit. Before I get to that, we're gonna just go over to a nice, beautiful market over here. It's called the boat market. The boat market, there you go. <laughs> so we're just gonna get some uh, limes, some local lemons, some oranges, nice tomato, nice fresh pineapple. It's not tropical without fresh fruits, all right? 
So, Keely, so you put the citrus in early on to give a chance for the protein to, for to the, kind of cure a little yeah. bit. Some people overdo it too early and then the fish is all the fish mushy. Is mushy. Yeah. Right. Such a it's nice a white fish. flesh. Nice Isn't it amazing? Flesh, yeah. Once you try it, you can't stop yeah, trying. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to cut my um, citrus. I like to do a combination. So I mix the lime and lemon. Orange together. Orange juice together. Well, it gives you like this, you just said you call it a tropical flavor. Tropical, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this guy here is full of flavor. This is a local lemon. Some people call it the ugly fruit. Kind of looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, good flavor. Especially goes, good combination for the fish, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you can. I can. You, you can smell it already. You can smell that. Yeah, smell okay. that. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful flavor. Look at that. Do me a favor. Reach, reach me over one of the spoons over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try those. Oh wow. Good stuff. Well, yeah, it's a great combination. Mm. I gotta keep my eyes on you. You look like you're gonna steal my. I will. Okay. Recipe. <laughs> I already stole it. Here we go. So we add some citrus there. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's all nicely coated. You, do you put any yeah. oil in your chibiche at all or no? No. no, no. Here, I'm going to just hit it a, a little hint of salt and pepper mm -hmm. in the meantime. So it just sits in there nicely. We have what you call a seasoning pepper. It's not a hot pepper, but it's just full of flavor. The yellow pepper, the red pepper, the green pepper. Just a combination of peppers. The color. So you just give it a little color and some texture, All right? We're gonna put a bit of cucumber in there as well. Peeled, unpeeled. Peeled? Semi-peeled. There you go. Yeah. Now we're gonna add the tropical, so we're gonna add some mango. You pretty much use any kind of mango, but it has to be right. right, but firm. So it's not that mushy in there. So it's not, it's not like mango puree. Yeah. So you want to make sure that all the ingredients maintain its consistency, so you identify when you eat it. When right? you eat it, so you peel up the mango, and you just you just don't throw with the skin. You might need that for a little Garnish. presentation later. So mango flour. There you go. There you go. You do the same thing. Mango in there, and then we're gonna add a, some pineapple. So we're gonna add a bit of. Pineapple to that. It looks like a very sweet pineapple too on top of it. You don't want to add too much to overpower the flavor of what we're really trying to achieve. Look at that. See how the, see how the, 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 the color Ready to go. of the fish is... It's already yeah. breaking down the, uh, the protein in the fish. In Look the at fish. that. There yeah. you go. And then there's a secret spice here that we call Shadow Benny. Mm -hmm. It's like the cilantro and it goes beautiful with fish. Last thing we add is a bit of tomato. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Look at that. Yeah. So we're gonna serve a, a tropical ceviche in a nice tropical fresh coconut. Looks gorgeous. All right, here you go, chef. Salute. Cheers, chef. Here's to a nice tropical island ceviche. Look at that. Mm. A lot of flavor. The flavor profiles are not overdone. And obviously, being here in Shadow Bene country, it comes right through it. It's very refreshing. Yeah, lionfish is good. The only, good. The, only, the only thing would be me sitting in the in the ocean versus standing here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this this definitely has welcome to Grenada all over it. Grenada is still known today as the Spice Island, with one of its most cherished exports being nutmeg and maize. Like most countries in the West Indies, cocoa is also a major export and an ingredient in many of the local markets and products. I went up to the mountains of Grenada where I was introduced to the Hazard family, who have been gentlemen farmers for generations. They grow hundreds of different herbs and spices and are famous for combining all of their farm's sweet flavors into a delicious chocolate drink known simply as the Cocoa Ball. We grow all these different crops, 
my grandmother and my grandfather, everybody grew in it. Yeah. So, so you keep the tradition, tradition alive, right? Yes. With the grand. Some of the main ingredients in their secret recipe include nutmeg, bay leaf, tonga bean, and obviously cocoa, which combine together to create a unique little bowl that is ready for hot water or milk. Put proper water in this, let it boil so the cocoa dissolves by itself. It goes quick, right? Yeah, it doesn't take long to dissolve. And then so people like it because it has a good amount of uh, natural caffeine in there, obviously from the, from the cocoa part, right? Yeah. The cocoa balls make a nice tea with it. Keeps you going. Tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> Madame Hartshield sells her product at the local markets, along with some of the freshest local herbs and spices you can find. So now I get to find the taste, huh? Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Now I know. That makes any hot chocolate thing, like, don't even think about it. Don't ever change anything. This is too fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here on the east coast of Grenada, right on the beach checking out a restaurant that's owned by Chef Agis. She is known for doing some spectacular recipe utilizing bread food that goes throughout the island. I own the Agis restaurant and bar. This is my life. When people like you all come and enjoy it, this makes me happy. <laughs> Chef, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Agis restaurant and bar in Bathway. Let me tell you, I hear so much about your unbelievable breadfruit balls that I had to make it here. I use the breadfruit. You cook I it. I cooked it you first. Cook it. Makes sense. Nothing else goes in there. Nothing. So I get it like this. Uh huh. So you make like a yep. pancake. What's the, what's the filling? It's cheese uh -huh. with the seasoning, herbs. Uh -huh. I take the herbs from my garden over there. It's all naturally made. And close it up. Close it up. Touch some water onto okay, it, yeah. and I dash it into some breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, just breadcrumbs. Yeah. Rolling the breadcrumb into it. To keep it firm. To keep it, yep. yeah. How long do you got to fry them about? You think about Two minutes. Two minutes. Until, As it's until fresh. the nice and... On it fresh. What do you serve with it? I made a leche, which is tomatoes, onions, and sometimes when I have peppers. I stir fry all of it with olive oil and I serve it like that. This is very really unique for me to see that and also to see that you are so excited about your work. I get called from America, England. I'm sure. Now, Thank I'm you very gonna, much. now I want to call you. <laughs> Let's try one of those. Yes, please. So I'll tell it. you what. Ah. Taste it right. Wow. You sure you're not Italian? No. <laughs> you sure? It's the same flavor to it. Oh, thank this you. This is very, very good though. Thank you. What I really like is the, uh, the combination and the amount of cheese versus the, the bread food. Spectacular. Thank you. Presentation to you with my mango juice. How do you know I like mango so much? I'm crazy about mango. Literally, you know? Well, that's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mmm. There's nothing better. I can't think of a better way to close out this fantastic trip than with a cup of Grenadian Tanya Log. Made up of natural spices and grated Tanya, this porridge is an island stable. The chef, thank you. Anywhere there is a meal hangout, yep. that's the food. That's the thing. <laughs> uh, it's unbelievable. Absolutely spectacular. The secret is all the spices. Has, 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 absolutely, has a great flavor. I can see why this is very good for your stomach. It lines, <laughs> it, li it lines your stomach, right? So it's good for the party before and after. I can see, I get it, but it's really good. Oh man! I had a great time in Grenada, learning all about the lionfish and making some spectacular menus with my friends here, all for a taste of history.